Guardian the 15th of November page 4, squeezed NHS must close dozens of services page 5, armed forces no longer fit for purpose, former top brass warn page 8, poorest squeezed as food price inflation hits for year high page 10, police poised to ignore minor crimes, MPs told page 16, eating disorder patients waiting months for care. Five articles in Wednesday's Guardian outline the catastrophic consequences of the Tory government's austerity policy, on the NHS, the armed services, the poorest families and the police. In Monday's edition, 5,000 head teachers wrote asking for relief from more damaging cuts to education. What does the media have to do to get the Prime Minister and the Chancellor to see how wrong these policies are? Maybe the plea to halt industrial-scale tax avoidance page 1, the 15th of November could offer a hint at a possible alternative. Linda Reed London won significant figures from both sides of the political divide like Margaret Hodge and Andrew Mitchell agree that bringing in the sunlight by making public the names of all the people hiding behind offshore shell companies, it's clear that real action is needed analysis the 15th of November. But what do we get from the government quoted in your front page report? Mel Stride, financial secretary to the Treasury, repeats the desperately tired and empty old boast that the UK has led the world, in this case, supposedly, by dealing with tax evasion and avoidance and increasing transparency. The reality is far different. The government has the power to legislate for the overseas territories to clean up their act, so why does it not act as your analysis makes clear? The PM is at serious risk of looking at best complicit in this cheating of the system. Is she so tied up by the bungling negotiations of her Brexiteers that she's unable to act on this scandal? Richard Carter London joined the debate via email guardian.letters at theguardian.com Read more Guardian letters, click here to visit goo.com letters.